what? Oh my, oh, hey, there I am. I am famous, I never knew that. Yeah, you guys just sit there and just, and just everything's on a screen, everything's on a screen these days anyway. <laughs> Keep it down. <laughs> Can somebody get this guy, that bald guy out of here? These are new strings I gotta tune up real quick. I don't wanna scare you guys way before the first song. hear me out there? All right. Well, welcome, friends. I can name 98% of people in here. And that's a good thing. And you two, I'm going to get to know your names, so don't leave. My name is Darren Sin. I'm here in support of Luke Redfield, who's on the road. We've been chatting before the show here. This is my first time at Studio on 4th. I live in Lake Tahoe. I'm going to sing you some original songs. And, uh, Hopefully, we'll have a few laughs and uh, a few beers. And uh, I bought this shirt today, by the way, uh, at the thrift store down the street for like thirteen fifty. I'm pretty proud of it. It fits real nice. If I button it up, it's like really slim and sexy looking. And it's a pearl snap. I've kind of gotten to the point to where that's all I'm going to buy is pearl snaps. This is just total random bullshit, but... So I got this... Well, I guess I guess the reason I brought up the, this is the reason I brought up the thrift store thing is because I have a CD up here called Thrift Store Melodies that I released in May, and uh, I will be playing some songs off that. Anyway, and I think I'll do this first one. That's the first song off that. I play like folk style music, which is all blues based. So I wanted to honor that, and I wanted to write a blues song, you know, but uh, I just wasn't fucking sad enough. And so every time I tried to bullshit my way through a blues song, like, I woke up this morning, my baby wasn't there. I was like, well, I don't have a baby, and so of course she's not there, you know? Anyway, so I was like, well, I look at every problem as an opportunity to find a solution. So I said, well, I want to write about the blues, I want to honor the blues, but I'm not sad, so I'm going to write about not having the blues. I'm still going to talk about the blues, just about not having them. So... This is the, I thought this is a good opener for the CD. It's called I Woke Up Without the Blues. When I woke up without the blues this morning, I woke up feeling fine. No issues with my finances, no trouble in my mind. I didn't have no busted love to bring me down. But when I woke up without the blues this morning, Said I woke up without the blues this morning I jumped right out of bed No aching, no heartbreaking No rain cloud over my head I didn't read the sad, sad news About everything When I woke up without the blues This morning Cause it's all just a state of mind You can live in hell or up on cloud nine Choice is up to me and you me, I fancy feeling fine, I'll tell you what I choose to do. I keep waking up without the blues. Said I woke up without the blues this morning, I had a fuzzy feeling. The grass seemed greener and even my dead-end job was less unappealing. I did a few kung fu kicks like Elvis would. Well, then I made this song all about feeling good. When I woke up without the blues this morning. Woke up without the blues, hey, hey. Woke up without the blues this morning. Thank you, thank you. So we solved that problem. Now here's the, here's the high-tech version of the show where I reveal my secret that my set list is on my phone. And like the screen will go dark every once in a while. So 
bear with me as I refer to it. And I might not even follow the damn thing. It's just a guideline. But did you guys want to hear a song about a... I'm not going to... I'm going to spare you that one. Let's sing a song about my favorite highway. I moved down here from Oregon. Um, I went to... I grew up in Eugene, Oregon. I went to college in Ashland, Oregon. And uh, we would... I was underage for a couple years in college, obviously. And... Uh, we would come down to Reno to drink because you could just go to the casinos and just, like, they wouldn't even give a shit. You could gamble your ass off and get wasted at 18 and 19 years old, and they didn't care. They, didn't, they just didn't care. So uh, that's kind of became uh, the reason why I ended up moving to Lake Tahoe is where I'm from now. But anyway, um, so I've lived in Tahoe for a number of years, and uh, I've gone, I've taken a lot of trips with my buddy Sean over at the bar there, we've taken a lot of trips down uh, to uh, like Bishop and Mammoth and um, to do all kinds of recreational things like rock climb and hot springs and mountain bike and rock banks and things like that. So anyway, this song's about my, that's my favorite highway, it's 395, it's called Southbound 395. Warbling, whipping by, and I'm a wheeling free. Got two days relief from the drudgery. Gonna lose myself in the desert day. Gonna find myself on this old highway. Felt so damn alive Southbound 395 Southbound out of here That's where I'll drive I need some time to think I need time to feel Just gets too real Sweeping sage on the mountaintops A soothing sight Gonna follow that sun Till the blue moonlight Southbound 395 I never felt Just gotta go Steady on the pedal Play the radio Looking back on mistakes I was afraid to make Looking on to the chances I'm gonna take Sound Where I feel 
Thank you very much. I love that highway. I'm drinking lighter beer tonight so as to maintain some sense of half sobriety. Something new I'm working on. Those close to me know. Let's get the set list out here. And oh, we gotta unlock the unlock the code again. I don't want you guys to see that though. Okay, here's a sad song. This is a I don't like to be sad or write sad songs, but sometimes they're really worthwhile if uh, you're sad and you want to express that. And uh, I feel like this one came from, you know, some songs hit you over the head, they come out of the sky and they knock you over the head. And then other songs you labor and labor over and you never even finish because they suck. But uh, this one I was pretty, I was pretty happy with. So, uh, oh my God, hang on. I'm all flustered. So anyway, this one, I took, I took a trip to New York City um, by myself one time for a vacation for a month just to get a room and find out what it was like to live in Manhattan for one month and take subways and eat hot dogs and pizza. Um, I didn't find any prostitutes, but maybe next time. I heard that it was pretty awesome back in the day, but Giuliani cleaned it up. I think I got there after that. Anyway. Um, after I had taken that trip to New York City where I just wanted to kind of like, I thought I was going to come out of my shell and all I did was find the nearest bar and fucking drink. But it was pretty fucking awesome. But uh, anyway, so, uh, you know, weeks or months or years later, I can't remember now, but this song hit me over the head and it felt like it, it, felt like it came from that trip to New York City when I was in kind of a dark place in my head. Anyway, this one's called Tumbling Weed. It's on my first album, which is pretty much just in digital form, I guess, right now. Anyway, it goes like this. Drifting through another nameless town Watching another nameless sun go down I don't know a single soul around I'm all alone Searching for what I don't know to find Catch me up with all my wasted time Will I be around on down the line? I just don't know Like a tumbling weed, I'm bound to roam Any way the breeze is bound to blow For today to get me to tomorrow. Down this lone, destinless road No signs point me which way to go Thought by now I'd probably come to know But I still don't Once I had a lover's hand to hold Fire died, my feet became too cold Now I'm lost and listless in the fold I can't find a home Like a tumbling weed, I'm bound to roam Anyway, the breeze is bound to blow 
for today to get me to tomorrow. Tumbling weed Blowing with the breeze I search the world for me I'm just a tumbling weed Just a tumbling weed Just a tumbling weed Thank you very much. That's one of my sad songs. I don't know if I have any more. I can't think right now. I don't think I put it on the list on my phone. Let's see if I can not refer to that set list for once. And um, I can, I can um, focus on local history. I'm a part of local history. I went to jail for the first time back in, uh, well, I don't care to remember when the fuck that was, but it was a couple years ago. Um, I, uh, I, uh, uh, somebody told me like, yeah, go to Virginia City, the Red Dog Saloon. I know the owner. Go introduce yourself. Tell me you play guitar. You'll get a gig, man. So I went up to Virginia City and I found the owner and introduced myself and at the Red Dog Saloon and I said, hey man, my name's Darren, I play guitar and sing. He's like, well, you got your guitar. I said, yes, I do, sir. And this is like noon and uh, on a summer day. And uh, he goes, well, go get it, put you up on stage. So there's like six and a half people in there. And uh, <laughs> so uh, I got up there and played a few songs and um, they liked it, they clapped. I don't know if they really gave a fuck or not, but they did clap, so that, raised my stock in the eyes of the owner. This is how the world works. And, and so um, at, after that, I played like five or six songs during the lunch hour for the six and a half people and they clapped and he, he broke out his uh, date book and started penciling me in for a gig. And, you know, for an aspiring, you know, wannabe folk singer, that's pretty fun stuff. So uh, I proceeded to celebrate and the way I do that or I have it in the past is drink IPA. Um, to excess, and that um, doesn't always end up well. And I can make this story long, but I'll try to keep it brief. I'm, the, I'm just doing an opening set here. But anyway, I couldn't drive home back to Tahoe, so I had a Toyota truck with a camper shell on it, and I had a sleeping bag back there. And I was I had already parked it on some remote street right down from the bar and thought I was going to be cool to sleep in the back of that thing. And I'm, I'm pretty drunk, right? And I'm getting ready to go. And I'm get, my truck getting ready to sleep, and a cop rolls up on me out of the middle of nowhere, and uh, starts asking me questions, and I'm, I already tell him, yeah, man, I'm drunk, you can see that. And he's like, yeah, I can see that. And uh, then he starts looking around in my cab of my truck. And this is where, folks, know your rights. Elka, you've taught, you've tried to teach me this. Know your rights, because I panicked. I thought that he could look through all my shit without, you know, a warrant. I didn't know that he couldn't look inside things like my console, where I had my weed and my pipe. So I'm like, man, if he finds that shit and I didn't tell him, I'm going to get in big trouble. So I go, and it wasn't very much anyway, so I figured, ah, he'll be cool with me just showing him and he'll let me go. And then, so I produced my stash and he was like, ooh, I got to have to take you in. I was like, fuck that honesty is the best policy bullshit. That doesn't work out so well. Anyway, I went to the Slammer. Nice facility, um, clean. I had a couple of cellmates that were okay. Um... But the coolest thing was they put me in the old school black and white stripes. I thought that was a nice touch. So I spent a night in a slammer and uh, this song came out of it. Virginia City, Nevada don't have too much fun there. Or at least be careful with when you do or wear a mask or something. Anyway, this is my song about my first trip to jail. Happened just up the road. Let me get the harmonica on here first. That's always a pretty important thing. And hopefully it's in the right key, because when you're not in the right key, that really sucks when you launch into a solo and it sucks. La 
black and white stripes from my head down to my toes. I never thought I'd wind up sporting these kind of clothes. My brain's aching. I'm saturated with beer and booze. Locked up, run out of luck. I got the mugshot blues. Well, I breezed into town and I played the Red Dog Saloon. I drank and sang till I finally came out of tune. Till the good times rolled Till the next thing that I knew Locked up, run out of luck I got the mugshot blues I wasn't hurting anybody When they cuffed me up Now I'm eating raisin bran From a styrofoam cup They pressed and pressed on me Till I caved in But honesty is like a hangman's rope when it comes to Story County cops and dope, I told the truth, I man, I won't do that again. It's 5 a.m. and it's jailhouse wake up call. Line and light, steel toilet on a concrete wall. I guess drunk and dumb don't come without their dues. Locked up, run out of luck, I got the mugshot blues. Black and white stripes, now the jailer calls my name. Bail's been paid, it's time to take my walk of shame. I'm gonna get a newspaper and check up on what's new. Maybe read Dear Abby and play the crossword too. With my bacon and eggs and my coffee spiked with booze. And I just as soon forget about the mugshot blues. Cause I ain't got no more use for the mugshot blues. Thank you so much. That was about my first trip to the Slammer, which I figured for sure would be my last, but I do learn slow. Sometimes it takes me two or more times. So far in this life, it has taken me twice, and we can sing a little bit about that too. Hello, ladies. Don't be shy. Come on in. Oh, hey. Let's keep it on the Virginia City tip. It seems appropriate. I wrote a song about a... Uh... Oh, where's my capo? Oh, boy. Oh, I don't need it. That's good. I, I, I just fancy the Old West, and so I really love to sing about it. And, uh, and um, up in Virginia City there, there was... Uh, during the Comstock Load era, um, there were uh, a lot of men who had left their families to move out, left their families from the East and the Midwest to move out to the West and mine and make some money and send them back to their families or, or whatever they're going to do with that money. But they came out West to mine for gold and ore. And uh, they did a lot of that in Virginia City, of course. And uh, so there's a lot of lonely men. And so the women who were few and far between, they had a job to do. And you can imagine what that might have been. They were called working girls. And uh, one... In particular, her name was Julia, Julia C. Bulette, and she became a folk, folk legend, and she was known to accommodate anybody and everybody and was never known to turn a man down, and uh, just very generous. And uh, she was uh, tragically murdered for some belongings in her trunk, her suit of clothes, one, 
one morning early. Uh, anyway, so this is her story. It's just, you know, it's, a, it's like crime and death and murder, and it's rich in fun. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm winging it. So anyway, I wrote, but I really do. I love, I just love Virginia City. Even after the jail experience, I'm still digging it, man. I just, I don't visit those guys anymore, but. So this is a story about uh, Julia Bulette, and uh, I took the title from a book called Queen of the Red Lights. So the song is called Queen of the Red Lights. Back in the times when the mines were mine And the trains were chugging through Old Virginia was a bustling city Living high on the Comstock boom There lived a woman named Julia She did a dirty job to do She died young, the hardest working girl The Wild West ever knew Queen of the red lights She loved them all for the right price Well, they'd come and go and come back to her again In the high times on the Comstock low She kept the miners mining and the money flowed And it never was the same After Julia got done in Well, she volunteered her days with the men At the firehouse on C Street While the miners broke their bags below In the stench and the sweltering heat And after sundowns when she made her name Loving them miners for pay She sent them off back to their hell But they'd be whistling all the way Queen of the red lights She loved them all for the right price They'd come and go and come back to her again In the high times on the Comstock low She kept the miners mining and the money flow And it never was the same After Julia got done in Well, they found her in her shack that day Cold and stiff there on her bed Disfigured face and the bloody sheets They were sticking to her head No silver, no gold ever came for free She was only 35 A victim of all the lust and greed That was keeping her alive Queen of the red lights She loved them all for the right price They'd come and go and come back to her again In the high times on the Comstock low She kept the miners mining and the money flowed And it never was the same After Julia got done in No, it never was the same after Julia got done in. No, it never was the same. Thank you so much, Queen of the Red Lights, Julia C. Bulette. I spend as much time in Virginia City as I can. Well, not enough, but 
I do have a buddy that lives up there, Sean, so we need to hook up, dude. Go to the Gold Hill Hotel, slug back a few, stumble on up to the Red Dog. We need to go to the Piper's Opera House and catch a show. Um, I just like to promote that place, even though they threw me in jail. Okay, I play a lot of, I'm playing a lot in G tonight. We call it the Key of Jesus. I need to get out of a capo. Can you just excuse me for just one second? I'll talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. The progressive era was neither progressive nor an era. I'm here in support of Luke Redfield, who's in the room, and he's going to be entertaining the headliner tonight. So I'm uh, warming you guys up. I'm going to stay and check him out and hope you do too. Thanks for listening. I want to thank Doug back there running the sound. Thank you very much, my friend. As we always say, a good sound man makes us sound better than we do. And it's, sometimes it's hard work. Thank you, Doug. Uh, so uh, let's play another one in G. Why not? We're on such a roll here. Um, the way to write when you're, when, you're, uh, when you're struggling to create a piece of art and you don't know where to start or whatever, you just got to get really honest with yourself. And um, I had this issue with where I thought I was such a cool guy, such a nice guy, and like I couldn't figure out why chicks didn't just throw themselves at me. And it was starting to piss me off. Because I'm like, God, I'm such a nice guy. And they, they say nice guys finish last, but that's bullshit, you know? It turns out it's not really that untrue. So I, <laughs> I actually embarked on like a one and a half to two year study of male and female psychology. I studied harder than I ever did in college, man, to figure women out, or at least figure myself out or something. And uh, what I found was that I was a people pleaser, and people pleasers don't win. Because they don't give themselves enough time, and they don't give themselves enough credit. They're always trying to make sure everybody else likes them, and they're making everybody else happy. I was that guy, man. And I, You know, nice guys finished last, and I just kept on coming in last. Girls would just love me, but only for a friend. And that just didn't cut it sometimes. So anyway, I thought about my new attitude, my new attitude, and this song's about my new attitude. And uh, the, other, the other story behind this song is like, I got this new attitude, now I need to put it in some kind of format. So I, I went, and I, I know Luke can appreciate this. Uh, I took a Towns Van Zant song that I fancied. Yes, sir. Y'all know Towns? A true songwriter. Bob Dylan fucking was badgering Towns to write with him, and Towns was like, yeah. That's how badass he was. Anyway, I took this Towns Van Zant song, kind of took the feel of it, and uh, made my own song. By the way, whenever you write a song, if you're stuck, that's what you do. You just go steal some shit. So here's my song. It's called I Could Take Your Love or Leave It. Well, I used to dream about you, babe, like a dog dreams about a bone. I thought I couldn't live without you, babe. I had you on a diamond throne. Then I saw some writing on a brick wall I thank the Lord I stopped to read it He said, any way the wind blows, pretty mama I can take your love or leave it You know, money don't grow on trees, pretty mama Hey, money don't sit around I can treat you like a million dollar bills If only you'd come on down I ain't got no sweet romance to give To any woman who don't receive it Cause any way the wind blows, pretty mama I can take your love or leave it
know that endless road does beckon babe Calls out to me through the wind When the day comes down to reckon babe I might not be here to take you in I ain't looking back now once I go What's behind the man I seen it Cause anyway the wind blows pretty mama Take your love or leave it Well, I used to dream about you, babe Like a dog dreams about a bone Thought I couldn't live without you, babe I had you on a diamond throne Then I saw some writing on a brick wall Thank the Lord I stopped to read it Anyway, the wind blows, pretty mama. I can take your love or leave it. Cause anyway, the wind blows, pretty mama. I can take your love or leave it. That's my new attitude toward chicks. It's working out like gangbusters, man. I had like one date three years ago because of it. No. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't quite that bad. It was two and a half. Um, all right, so that, that was inspired by Towns. So off the cuff here, I'm just going to go, well, Towns, man. Like, how can, I not, how can I not play a fucking Towns Van Zandt song right now on this? Um, you know, when you, when, you, when you decide to actually... Try not to waste other people's time by getting up in front of them and you know entertaining and trying not to be a fool. You, I mean, I could play, I could play Sweet Home Alabama, but fuck that, you know. I could play Wagon Wheel, fuck that. But I can play a song that actually connects, you know, speaks to me. And hell yeah, it's a Towns Van Zant song. He's just a just a brilliant songwriter. Um, in a lot of songwriters' eyes, which is a huge compliment. Anyway, I, uh, it's Steve Earle and him are good buddies. And uh, I was just reading an article about Steve, an interview with Steve Earle today, and he was talking about that. Um, but anyway, this uh, one, I, I relate to this sentiment. I've been depressed, and I got tired of that shit, so I just got happy one day, but it took a while. But uh, I could relate to this sentiment. This song is called Waiting Around to Die. I can't see where this dirty road is taking me Sometimes I can't even see the reason why But I guess I'll keep a gambling Lots of booze and lots of rambling Yeah, it's easier than just waiting around to die One time, friends, I had a ma I even had a pa he beat her with a belt once because she cried She told him to take care of me She headed back to Tennessee It was easy to just wait around to die Well, I come of age and I met a girl in a Tuscaloosa bar She cleaned me out and she did it on the sly I tried to kill the pain I bought some wine and hopped a train It was easier than just waiting around to die But a friend said he knew where some easy money was 
So we robbed a man, and brother, did we fly? Sheriff's posse caught up with me, drug me back to Muscogee. That's too long, yeah, just waiting around to die. But now I'm out of prison And I found me a friend at last He don't drink or cheat or steal or lie Oh, his name is Codeine He's the nicest thing I've seen Yeah, together we're just gonna wait around to die Yeah, together we're just gonna wait around to die Yeah, together we're just going to wait around. Thank you. That's a Towns Van Zandt song. I'll play you, play you a couple more here. Um, it has been a pleasure. This is a, this is a beautiful stage. Um, I, I don't go out on the road much. I just play regionally. As a matter of fact, this is farther than I usually venture from the comfort of my home in the mountains. But uh, uh, me and Luke were talking about how this is a freaking really nice little cabaret, a really nice stage, and makes you feel like you're somebody. And I love to find venues like this that are suitable to one guy and a guitar. That's the only way to make a couple bucks. Not that it's about the money, but shit, I do have a mortgage, you know? So buy a CD, would you? No, I'm just kidding. I don't care. I don't care. I got a day job. I deal poker. I deal Texas Hold'em. It's actually a pretty good job, man. I kind of like it. See here, I'm going to move out my... Let me just let me get my digital set list just to make sure I'm not forgetting anything important here. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I'm going to tell you about my second trip to jail. This one happened in South Lake Tahoe, and I kind of wished it would have been Virginia City again, because at least they fed me, even though it was Raisin Bran, at least they fed me, man. But, uh, so, you know... I've been really responsible in my life. I'm getting better. I'm still not quite there, but I'm getting better. And I spent a night, uh, all night, probably like I was 21 or something. This was just like a couple, this is just like a year, two years ago, maybe. I, was, I thought I was 21, and I was partying with my buddies up in the North Shore of Lake Tahoe, and I live on the South Shore. And I had to work the next day at 10 a.m., but yeah, I didn't give a shit. I was like going to stay up till 6, catch a wink, and then roll right into work, and everything was going to be fine, right? So uh, I proceeded to um, drive when I shouldn't have. And actually, you know, I, I, I felt fine to drive, but the problem was I didn't have any sleep. So uh, ugly situation, I fell asleep at the wheel. And thank goodness that nobody was hurt. I walked away. But uh, so I got, you know, the three-letter conviction. And uh, I would have to tell people, because I don't like to hide from my fuck-ups. I like to own them. And I would tell people, yeah, man, I need a ride. I can't drive in California. Why? Why? Well, I got DUI. And, well, you shouldn't have drove, man. What happened? You shouldn't have drove. I was like, oh, my God. You are, you are brilliant. You are so brilliant. And your timing is impeccable. Tell me this. So enough people would tell me this after the fact, you know, hindsight. And I was just like, okay, I'm writing a song. It's an open letter. And this is the song. <laughs> You know, God bless everybody who told me I shouldn't have drove that night. I kind of figured that out by then, but hey. Well, I wrecked my pickup truck. I was being negligent. 
They took me down to the station and away my freedom went. I got charges and a fine, a police record to call mine. What I could have, should have done is pretty much irrelevant. What I could have, should have done ain't a worth a damn to me. A dollar short and a day too late is all it'll ever be. And hindsight's like a broke tail light, you're just too late to see. What I could have, should have done, it ain't a worth a damn to me. I've done some stupid things. Be the first to say I've always known the straighter path but I've flown the rambling way now I'm shelling out the price ain't no sense in thinking twice cause what I could I should have done it won't help me none today hey what I could have should have done no worth a damn to me Daughter short and a day too late Is all it'll ever be And hindsight's like a broke tail light You're just too late to see What I could have, should have done It ain't no worth a damn to me A stale bite of outdated clarity What I could have, should have done It ain't worth a damn to me Thank you so much That was a short two-verse song I learned that trick from Merle Haggard Two verses, that's, you know, that's all I had to say Uh... This, uh, this this next song might be, this is the one that I'm probably going to, it's, you know, you're fortunate to be hanging out with me right now because I'll be way too big when this song go, when this song hits. I won't even fucking know who you are, man. I might get you backstage if, you know, if you got some hot chicks with you. Anyway, this is, uh, this is one of my more, as far as like my three friends go that they really like this one. And uh, I think it's because it comes from a place of honesty, um, which is usually what works. I was at a bachelor party I, I, up in uh, Incline Village. I got a lot of friends from the Bay Area, um, and so they have lots of money because you have no choice if you live there. And uh, whenever they want to have a party, they go to, they like rent a mansion in Incline Village and, and then go throw a party. And so I live in Tahoe, so I've rolled on up to Incline Village, and it was a bachelor party, and it was X-rated. There were a couple strippers, a couple bodyguards, and some utensils. And man, um, I'm just, I just, if I can't touch, if I can't play, then what, you know, what the fuck? I, I don't care. But uh, the other guys, they were really into it. That was good. I was just, all I could think of when this X-rated shit was going on right in front of me, um, about how uh, I had to, when I got home, I had to sort my mail, which is probably weeks and weeks old, had to do my laundry, make my bed, Vacuum, feed the cat. No, I don't have, I didn't even have a cat. Anyway, so I went, like I was thinking this, and it hit me like, I got to get organized. So uh, that's just kind of like where this song was born, which is interesting if nothing else. I got a couple more songs for you. This will be one of them. We're going to get Luke up here and uh, continue the party. But uh, So, like I said, my three friends really like this one. Procrastination hassles me Confusion is my cup of tea My vision's 2020, But I can't see My filing cabinet's upside down My picket fence is a painted brown 
When I take a bath, there's an off chance I might drown. I gotta get organized. I gotta get my shit together. Gotta do it now. I gotta get organized. I ain't got a nothing better to do anyhow. Get organized, but if I never do, I won't be surprised. Well, my wife is four months overdue. My attack dog's name is Cindy Lou. My left foot don't quite fit in my left shoe. I stop. I go on red when the sun comes up. I go to bed when I take X lax, it goes right to my head. I gotta get organized, gotta get my shit together, gotta do it now. I gotta get organized, I ain't got a nothing. Better to do anyhow. I gotta get organized, but if I never do, I won't be surprised. Well, my unicycle's got two wheels. I don't know how sensation feels. The sushi restaurant serves me cooked meals. My doctor tells me he's in pain. My shrink is legally insane. I get sunburned out in the pouring rain. I gotta get organized. I gotta get my shit together. Gotta do it now. I gotta get organized. I ain't got nothing better to do anyhow. I gotta get organized, but if I never do, I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised. Surprise. Thank you so much. I hope you can relate. All right, I think I'm going to do one more and uh, turn it on over. It's so fun. Hope to do this again sometime. Play you a cover song. from a damn good band from across the pond. I think these guys are going to make it. Keep your eye out, okay? About the girl I love, I should look so fine. She's the only one that I've been dreaming of, and maybe someday she will be our mine. I need to tell her that I love her so, and I thrill with her every touch. I need to tell her she's the only one I really love. I gotta wanna wanna about our day. A woman, she won't be true. I got a woman, stay drunk all the time. I said, I got a little woman, and she won't be true. And Sunday morning, when we go down to church, I see the men folk are standing in line. I say, They come to pray to the Lord, and my little girl, she looks so fine. 
sun is sinking low and everybody for oh, they love. I walk to town, keep a searching all around. I'm looking for my street corner girl. I got a want, I want a follow up day. I got a want and she won't be true. I got a woman that stay drunk all the time. With the men you play guitar, singing, drinking, and remembering the times. My little lover does a midnight shift. Well, she followed around all of the time. I guess there's just one thing that's left for me to do. I'm gonna pack my bags and get on my way. Because I got a worried mind sharing what I thought was mine. I'm gonna leave her with a guitar's play. I got a warm, I wanna buy a day. A woman, she won't be true. I got a woman still drunk all the time. I said, I got a little woman, and she won't be true. I said, She won't be true. Thanks a lot, you guys, for coming out. Let's hang around and listen to Luke. Luke Redfield's coming up in just a little bit here. Very talented songwriter. And uh, I want to thank Studio on Force for having me. Thanks, Doug, for the sound. And whoever I forgot, thank you, too. See ya. See you out there. <laughs>